so here this uh, in this video we're going to i'm going to show you how to put all these batteries back into the ryobi zero turn lawnmower that's a zt480 the reason i remove this battery is not because uh, not because it has some issues but every winter i store the batteries in the basement the reason is because these are like the niah batteries and you cannot leave them in um, in the in the cold outside especially when it is sub zero temperatures these batteries will die most probably um, it's not like lithium batteries where you can just uh, leave them and doesn't make a difference so uh, so but the, the the other thing is these batteries needs to be constantly charged so i use a regular uh, trickle charger like a car battery charger and get uh, keep it charged throughout so uh, it's um, there are a lot of things that need to, that go to go for go that's needed to get this thing in so let's start so it's a good idea to clean the rack so and the, another important thing is to get this this channel is very clean okay because uh, when you well, i basically store it in somewhere in october november or something when it starts getting cold so i don't have the bandwidth to clean it then because it's so cold that i cannot stand in my garage so i take a regular blower that's a that's a quick work and but that makes sure it's clean now these batteries are ridiculously heavy because each of them are like close to 65 to 70 pounds so you multiply four of them you definitely need something you cannot assemble it down on the floor and pick it up even if there are even if there are four people it's going to be a and uh, and um, again you you cannot do that from the ground because these things won't be secure this it's just tied with one screw so you need um, a hydraulic lift is what i recommend you get it very cheap at like harbor freight or tj max any of these places but i just do some diy let's like, let me show you how this works so definitely you need the ramp you need something to hold on so it doesn't push back i put some um two by fours below it and let me show you how it looks like after it's assembled so there is no great logic in this though however i do like to number them the reason being uh, I, I always like to pair them the way it used to be i don't want to like mix up batteries but there's no scientific reason if even if you mix it i mean they all should be equally charged at times what i think is my trickle charger if it um, if it charges some more and then some less and then i don't want to take that so i generally just put numbers on it but it's uh, pretty straightforward there's nothing much okay you always this is going on in series so red black black to red red to black black to red so it, this is the only thing you need this is the only combination you need to remember and then keep it close don't keep these things over here because then you'll not be able to run you'll not be able to run this like this okay so this is the last piece of the puzzle right this is where the whole power comes it's like a it's like a point uh, it's like a one gauge or half gauge wire it's pretty well built okay so i'll i'll do the wiring and then then i'll take a we'll show you in close next what you have is four of these uh, safety nets so what you'll do is you, you can just place it all on top of each other so that uh, because that's where the wire will come out so this goes here so, this goes here. so there's no there's no fixed pattern for it you'll just place it um you just place it and it'll fall into its place okay so you see these things just smudge them over the same thing here same thing here and then same thing here i believe you cannot go wrong with this okay so if you put in any orientation it's going to the only this is what facilitates to remove your wires so next i'll show you after wiring how it looks like and these are the wiring that you would have received so again there's no fixed pattern for it you can just um, you can just choose whichever you want but um, just for um, 
just to just to keep it um, just to keep it logically aligned ones that are not bent should be should be the ones that go here and um, the ones that are bent more might be the ones that come here yeah always remember you're dealing with a live battery this has got a lot of charge in it okay so these are explosive things so you or if there could be sparks that would uh, that could come so safety is very important you need to have a safety glass while you're working on this all right so if you can see i have connected this 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 okay so generally uh, the rule of thumb is always to connect the black terminal first and the red but if you can see that um, so th that's a rule that you follow in a car batteries but this is like a series okay so it, it, it so if you just connect this as first it's not energized if you connect this second it's energized still here and if you connect this it's energized still here okay so now so there is no hard and fast rule uh, that you need to follow this basic electrical engineering that uh, um, and these lids would go on top of this okay so so far what so uh, another thing to note other another thing to another word of caution is don't use do not have any metal over here because especially the, the this one and all this should be the last thing that should go on it okay um, the last one is the only exception you will have to take this wires through this uh, but these all you can pretty much take it from below okay now this is something this is not generally a good design i don't know why they have put like should have been like now this thing could always cause a spark or um, some smoke or something when if it's not handled right because this stick this one could interfere with this metal with these to with these ends and then could create a spark because note that we are doing like 12 almost 48 volts of power which is uh, which is substantially higher but it doesn't cause much damage okay? so and also note that um, you would always want to align it in such a way that this handle is here and this one so you'll see the screws so this thing is on the end so that's where you need it for the seat remember that these when you're dealing with these metals these are you don't want to you don't want to these are very malleable metals which means which is very soft so you don't want to put a lot of pressure on it okay? and um, i think once you once that if that gets messed up there's nothing much that you can do because you cannot just solder or do anything of that sort okay? and then this comes out like this okay pull this in place put the covers on okay so now this is at 48 volts this is one of these little tiny ones that come here it just goes within the screw put this on top and then close this out okay. i'm pretty confident that i can push this in the ramp is holding steady taking the weight it should be like an easy slide uh, i am sure that i have not missed anything there should be like a blue dongle over here yeah that's the blue one okay there's the blue Oh, that's that is so fragile. You don't want to be breaking any of these wires. These are like so thin. You don't want to ask. It's like so thin. You want to break that? That this is a wire that goes right to the. There's some other wires over here. You don't want to. You don't want to snip. Well, you do the push. There's this one for the seat, the safety one. Okay. 
get the keys in off okay so that it doesn't spark or anything okay, so that's off when these are being pushed in it is almost certain that it's going to put some pressure on these wires okay so especially these now these are pretty much strong well built the ones over here are not so it, see now this, it's like it is around 40 percent in i'm going to give another push and uh, do the rest so once i push that in i put in i put in these six screws one two three and three over there note that there is a hook like this over here okay so this goes into hook so this is attached before that so that uh, you see the screw that will attach this thing okay so that's pretty straightforward the only important thing is this clip over here it's a hook like this so you need to go from the bottom put it inside if the hook goes from here to here okay and then goes inside okay so don't snap that and and then I could move um, the lawnmower from there to here, which in itself is a big achievement because if you short the battery or there is no way to push this lawnmower, you need all four batteries. And I turned on after probably like five months, the batteries are still at 100%. Um, and I'll put reviews of this. Um, so I think last year I put all the reviews of uh, what the battery did. I'm going to charge this overnight. And I'll put the review of this, um, of how the performance was by tomorrow. Today is like May the 5th, 2022. Thank you.